Hi, right, this is Randy Groff with Tack Veins. I want to give you a brief description of how I have learned to install wraps over the years. I do think that it works really well and maybe it will help some of y'all. Um, first thing I generally recommend doing, and especially depends on which arrow it is, some arrows that have a really glossy coating or really slick coating back here on the back edge, I definitely recommend maybe a little scotch bright or even like a, like a 200 grit sandpaper just to scuff them up just a little bit. So I would definitely recommend, um, like, you know, you check and see how far down your wrap will be. You know, put your finger there and then scuff just from there back. You wanna make sure that you're not gonna take any material off the back end of the shaft. Just wanna scuff that up just a little bit to give um, a little bit of surface for the adhesive in the wraps to stick to. Um, so scotch Bright, I'll generally wipe that off with acetone and then I always follow acetone with water. Um, I personally believe that water is really important to make sure that any bit of residue that the acetone could leave behind is going to be removed. Um, so if, once you start that prep on all of your shafts, um, what I recommend doing is using a mouse pad. Um, what I find is that the mouse pad is going to distribute pressure the whole way across it. So if you do it on a hard surface, you're not getting good pressure on the entire decal itself. Um, so the mouse pad is going to allow you to do that. So what I typically do is, is obviously you want to touch as little as possible on the wrap itself. You know, stick that down upside down on your mouse pad. And here's where I find that works really well is to take this and I will line up this back edge of the shaft, you know, wherever I want the, sh the wrap itself to end. And then I'll also leave just a little bit of a gap right here on the back side, just visually that I can see I'm totally squared up. So I first line up the back edge, I line up to get about the same amount of gap, and then what I'll do is I'll stick that down. So once you stick that down, then all you gotta do is you gotta roll it back to roll that tab on that you use to line everything up. That's gonna keep everything nice and straight so that it doesn't end up you know, wrapping and leaving an overlap. So you press that down and just take this part and roll it on. And then I'll take the mouse pad and actually seal that down. So I'll pinch that and, and wrap it the entire way around just to be 110% sure that every bit of this is totally seated. And at that point, we know that that wrap is on there really good. I can even take your, take your fingernail and just, just lightly press that seam down and make sure that that is fully seated. Um, one other quick troubleshooting tip that I find works really well is uh, we all know what this blue spray is right here. This works extremely well on wraps to make sure that every bit of residue is removed. So um, after you wrap, like you know, if you're wrapping three, six, 12 arrows, I would highly recommend just two sprays of this in a clean paper towel and just scrub the wrap surface. It's gonna make sure that all the residue is removed and give you a really good fletching contact surface. But if you have any other uh, questions or issues, uh, feel free to shoot us an email into our website and we'll be glad to help.